This is what failure looks like. See, none of us enjoy failure. In fact, we do everything in our power to try to avoid it. It's what keeps us up at night. And it's something we must face if we're ever going to attempt anything. While I enjoy trying, I still don't enjoy failing. I'm a mechanical engineering PhD student, and this is my lab. We've been developing salts here which melt at room temperature. By melting and freezing these salts, you can store a significant amount of energy in a relatively small area. These salts are basically like ice cubes. When you place an ice cube into water, it melts as it absorbs a large amount of heat from even a large glass of water. Did I mention that the salt is cheap? like ice melt cheap. So my idea was to take this salt, mix it with the right amount of water, fill soda cans with it, and add some sawdust to help it freeze. If you wonder about that, just ask me down in the comments. The cans could be stacked into columns, which each successive can forming a lid for the can below it. Except for the top can, of course. I had to cut out some lids for these out of acrylic using a whole salt. But with eight columns of six cans each being complete, the main part of the heater was done. But back to failure. Some failures are unavoidable, but others happen due to lack of planning. As an engineer, you would think that my planning skills would be well developed at this point, but math is tedious and so a lot of times I just rush into things and try out my idea to see what happens. The idea here was to place the heater in the sun on a winter day. Radiative energy from the sun would heat up the black soda cans which would melt the salt inside of them. Then at nighttime, I would take the heater into our apartment and the salt would freeze. This would release heat into the room. But this is where everything went south or, or maybe north in this case. See when I tested the heater, it was a nice sunny day but it was also really cold and windy. The cold breeze blowing across the heater removed more heat than was absorbed from the sun, which kept the salt frozen. At this point, I ran some calculations. In its current form, the heater would not work if any wind was blowing. While I could add a plexiglass cover to insulate the tubes from the wind, it was another calculation that made me decide to give up on this idea altogether. See, even if the heater operated normally, I would only save around eight cents a day in electricity. If you want to prevent failure, you really should subscribe to my channel. I do my best to post weekly videos of things I build around here. And that's it.